woke up, I have a meeting at 11 a.m. I'm gonna wear my company uniform, includes a sweater and a hat. This is the first opportunity for us as a business to make money. Let's get our first sale. Let's go, baby! This guy that I, I spoke to, he had a problem with uh, cardboard boxes. We took action. We're going and regardless of what happens today, it is a learning lesson. We're hopefully gonna get this account secured. I'm recording, documenting my whole journey. So you guys will get a stay along with me from day one to day fun. Let's go, baby. Now hold on, man, guys, come on, listen. Huge military and civilian applications now. Three cents a share. That's three dollars. You cheap I just left the first meeting I ever had. I didn't close the deal the first go. He's gonna follow up with me, which always means you follow up because they're gonna forget they got busy days. I'm gonna say thank you so much for meeting with me. Let me know when you got your next load. I'll come out. Let's do a trial run. If it works, it works. And if not, then don't worry about it. He wanted me to do a $50 runoff load, which is not great. We want to start off with a minimum. $150, but you gotta take what you can get. If we can get a regular service, $50 a week, that's $200 a month. We just keep on trucking. We're gonna get a car wash now because my car is filthy. One thing I learned today was to listen to what the client is saying. I almost talked myself out of a sale. He asked me what my pricing was. And instead of jumping in the gun being like, oh, you know, my minimum price is this. I said, what is your budget? The bonus is that there's businesses right beside him that also have dumpsters. So assuming that they cannot get a dumpster bigger in their parking lots, I can go to all the next door neighbors to say, hey, look, I work with this company. I'd love to do the same for you. What are you paying for your dumpster? Today I was able to get out my flyers and business cards. So now I'm basically just gonna book like a time slot with Toronto Print House. I'm gonna find out how long it's gonna take for my business cards and flyers to get printed out. I think we're gonna do roughly around a thousand of each. Once we get those printed out, then the real fun starts. So I just got off the phone with Toronto Print House. We're looking at $693.70. That's for a thousand business cards and a thousand flyers. We would basically be in the business $1,200, I think. So we got some grinding to do. We got to make that happen. Guys, it's becoming a reality. Now I just got to go out and chase it. And we're going to take over Toronto when it comes to junk removal. Today is day three, no four. The first day that I have everything set up, I've got the business cards, I've got the flyers done. Now we gotta start trying to get and acquire business. So for me to be doing like a full day of like cold calling, cold calls never really go well. The more you do it, the better you get. It makes a lot of sense. Sometimes it makes a lot of dollars. I'm showing you that I have very little to no business experience, but through Fiverr for logos, AI to write about me title, using Facebook social medias to acquire new business. It's like, these are the tools that you need. We're just gonna grind. I'm just gonna make it as easy as possible that if you were to turn into the series that you could be like, okay, I could start a business today. Just realized how bad the snow is. Today we're gonna be focusing on getting and attaining meetings in business. But until my cards and flyers are printed out, it's very hard to like go to people's doors. So what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be cold calling businesses that I think could potentially use our services. But I found one business that's very amazing. Every single bike store gets boxes that are massive. A lot of cardboard coming in and out of their facility. I went on Google Maps. I searched up Bike Places Toronto. I made my own spreadsheet of 37 different bike stores in Toronto. Now I'm gonna come up with a cold call script. I know the problem is they have a lot of cardboard. I'm the solution, I'm the junk guy. Now it's just coming up with pricing. So I'm gonna dial every single one of those numbers. 37 calls, not a big deal. Hey, how's it going? My name's Kyle. I work for Clear Out Co. We're a junk removal service. I was just wondering if you have ever used a junk removal service or something along those lines. I don't wanna book a meeting with people if they don't have junk, that's the thing. Not everyone's gonna have an inherent need for junk removal. If they're not interested, I'm gonna get their email and then maybe follow up with them in a month or two. I'll make a note of it. On my way to my car right now. And then I thought of something. I'm like, what's the best way of making some money? So tomorrow we're gonna go out to people's driveways and we're gonna basically ask them if we can shovel their driveway. There's so much snow in here. It's an absolutely wild. And it's freezing cold. Wish me luck. 